Two of the most important considerations when it comes to applying fertilizer are placement and timing. For crops to reach their full potential, plant nutrition needs to have maximum efficiency and availability, regardless of how or when it is applied. When building a fertility program, one of the things we want to take into consideration is fertilizer placement. And why is that important? Fertilizer can actually be placed positionally unavailable to the plant. In other words, if we put it too far away from the plant, especially when you think about a nutrient like phosphorus that doesn't move very well in the soil, we can put it too far away, too far out of the root zone, it's never available to the plant during the growing season. So when considering fertilizer application, there are a lot of different methods to do so. First, let's kind of talk about a few of the options that we have. Whenever we're looking at that early pre-plant, before crop goes in the ground timing scenario. We've got the method that everybody and their brother used forever and has been around for a long time, and that's just broadcast fertilizer, right? Where we're just slinging it out on the ground, going in. Step farther from that is broadcast incorporation, where we broadcast it out there, and then we plow down, as, as it used to be called back in the day, whenever we actually plowed the ground. The next timing we look at is planting. Crucial part, we're putting that seed in the ground, we get one chance to do this right. So we have several different options out there. Kind of one of the first options that came out whenever we look at planter applied was the two by two application. And so that's two inches down and two inches over from the seed. Another placement that we have is the dribble, which is just straight out the back of the planter, right on top of the row. We also get into some in furrow that we can place certain nutrients, such as our phosphorus and some potassium sources in furrow to maximize their uptake. Looking at that, we also have a two by two by two, which has been a more recent thing where we're two inches over, two inches down on both sides of the seed to maximize the nutrient load that we're putting out there at one time. Another option when applying liquid fertilizer at planting time is that you can actually do a split application where you run some fertility right in furrow and run another band of fertilizer somewhere away from the seed to provide a little more protection if it's a higher salt content type fertilizer so you have a safer application, but it's still close to that root zone where it's positionally available to the plant. One of the main watch outs when applying liquid fertilizer with the planter is seed safety. We wanna make sure we're not applying a fertilizer with too high of a salt content that can cause damage to that seedling or to the seed itself. One of the main benefits of applying liquid fertilizer right in the root zone is getting that plant off to a quick, healthy start. We wanna build a good, healthy root system to get that plant up and going and out of the ground right away. We can also use another application method in season that I like, which is the Y-drop system. It's a drop tube system that actually places the liquid fertilizer right close to the base of the plant. That liquid fertilizer soaks into the soil, and it goes right down into the root zone. Again, making it positionally available so the plant can get it and utilize it. There are also some great benefits to doing multiple applications of liquid fertilizer throughout the growing season. At those high vegetative growth stages or the reproductive growth stages, by applying critical nutrients at those times, we can see some great benefits. Considering all the different application methods and timings that we've discussed today, there are ways that you can be the most efficient with your fertilizer and maximize your fertilizer dollar coming into the upcoming season. For more information on timing and application methods of nutrients, please visit our website at agroliquid.com.